COVID-19 needs no introduction. Hardly will a day go by without mentioning that word right now. We have been inundated by the virus for the past 18 months with very few countries such as New Zealand, maybe East Gel, being able to effectively manage the spread of this novel coronavirus. The social, political and economic effect has been devastating for the majority of the nations. This virus just keeps mutating and the Delta variant has been the most dangerous and deadly so far. The discovery and the approval of vaccines, which I thought would have brought an end to this pandemic, we are 10 months into vaccination and the surge in hospitalizations in most of developed countries in recent weeks was unexpected. Even though America has vaccinated over half of our entire population, there are still large chunks of people who have failed to be vaccinated, let alone obey COVID-19 rules and guidelines. And this is largely due to misinformation on the virus and the vaccines. Here in Turkey, there is no conflict with science. To the best of my knowledge, everyone is encouraged to be vaccinated, mandated to wear facial masks before you go out, enter any public building, take a public transport, and trust me, someone will confront you to mask up inside any of this critical infrastructure if you do not do so. Now, I do not have the statistics or the figures, but I think there is low vaccination rate among Africans here in Istanbul. This is an issue many don't like to talk about openly. You don't even know that someone have had a COVID until they mention it. For you to be vaccinated in Turkey right now, you need to be a citizen or illegal resident. I don't know if they have opened it up for those who are illegal right now because you would need your Turkish resident permit with your foreign identity number and your phone number which will also require you to download at least two apps the eDevlet app and also the eNabis app. Now you are going to require eDevlet password. For you to get your eDevlet password, there are two ways to hit. The first way is you walking up to a PTT nearest to you. A PTT for those who do not know is a well-known cargo company here in Turkey that helps in shipping or sending of goods, commodity across the globe, not just in Turkey. Now, you can walk up to any of their installations closest to you and get your eDevlet password. This will take roughly a minute and also you may be required to pay less than 10 Turkish lira in order to get your password. After which you've gotten it, you will need this password in order to proceed with your application. For those who have a Turkish account or Turkish bank account, then you do not need to go to any PTT. You can use your Turkish bank account details to obtain your eDevlet password, which you will then need when you are filling out the forms online. Now, I would strongly advise that for those of us majority of us that are Africans or Nigerians who could hardly speak Turkish or read Turkish to so please download this app on a computer or on a laptop. This will give you the opportunity for you to use translation in order for you to fill the forms online. This was what helped me in order for me to be able to navigate through the portal. After you've gotten your eDevlet password, then with your eNabis, you will be able to apply for your vaccination. It took me less than 30 minutes for me to navigate through the portal, register, pick a date, pick the nearest hospital close to me and pick a time. After which I proceeded the following day 
to get my vaccine. And how to my vaccination, I receive a text reminding me of my vaccination. And within five minutes on arrival, having filled my form, I was ushered into the room where there were nurses and I was administered the first dose of the vaccine by my left hand. And her two hours after I felt nothing and I was cheered and excited. For four or five hours after I started to experience some pains, just minor pains, and throughout the day I could not properly lift or do hard work with my left hand. And I was also advised or told by my wife, I don't know if this is true, not to have a bath in the first 24 hours or not to allow water to touch. I do not know if this is really, really true. If you have information supporting that, please drop them in the comment section below. So it takes literally 30 minutes to book my appointment and less than 10 minutes to get my first dose of the vaccine. And I was mandated or instructed to return three weeks after to get the second dose. And hopefully this coming week or this week, I'll be applying to take the second dose. Finally, I hope the government will be kind enough to allow the legal citizens to get the vaccines. I would like to appeal to those who are yet to be vaccinated or those who are still considering whether or not to take the vaccine to think twice. Stop listening to people who are not trained to offer medical advice. Please speak and listen to your doctor. Let's help stop this pandemic by making the right choices. Most of the people giving you wrong information or misinformation about the vaccines and COVID-19 have been vaccinated themselves. For example, Donald Trump and majority of the Republican leadership spreading misinformation about vaccines have been vaccinated. Many of the people lie for their political gain and take the vaccines in secrecy. Please listen to your doctors, not to them. Just like now in Turkey, it's impossible to enter a major infrastructure like shopping malls, airports, metro, train without your S code. For those of us who are out of Turkey, the S code is a code that helps the government to track your movements to track where you have been to per adventure, they would need to locate or to track you later if there's an outbreak of COVID or if there's an information they need you to know. Now, for you to get your S code, you have to send your foreign identity number, you have to send your H to a particular number via text message after you've done this you will receive a message in less than 10 seconds after giving you your hair code it is with this hair code that you would then register your metro bus card online after which you can then use the bus card to commute around Istanbul. I don't know for other cities. Okay. Now this Metro bus card helps you to make use of the trains, the trams and the public bus transport. But this is not needed when you are taking a taxi or the minibus that we call Domush. But if you are going to enter any major critical infrastructures such as hotels, airports, know that some may require an escort. Now, I strongly predict that going into the future, they may link your vaccination with this metro card or with you entering basic infrastructures not just in Turkey, but across the globe. Just as you can see 
in countries like America where it is being mandated for some federal workers to be vaccinated. A time will come when without vaccination, you won't be able to do much. My name is Sheba M. If this is your very first time of watching, please do us a favor, smash the subscribe button and make sure you leave your notification bell turned on so you get notified each time we post a new video. Now, are there some informations that you think is of great benefit to Africans, foreigners, Nigerians living in Turkey, interested in migrating to Turkey, or just people who would like to have information of what is going on in Turkey when it comes to COVID-19, please put them in the comment section and let's help inform others. Thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video. Goodbye.